Before we get started with today's episode, I have a quick announcement. Some of you guys might know, but I have created a second channel. In this channel, I am going to be playing more games, usually FPS games, but I might dabble in one or two other games. So if you want to support me on my second channel, there will be a link in the description where you can subscribe, follow. I upload at pretty much the same rate that I upload on this channel. So if you want to see more of me, make sure to go in the description and follow that new channel. What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of our free to play to main account series. This episode we are focusing on making some silver. Like last episode of the first 30 minutes or so I want to go ahead and go gather. Uh, so I have my sigil here that I want to repair. I got some goose pies as well. We're gonna head into the nearest zone and we're gonna try leveling up our harvested node. As you can see if you check here we are pretty close to get to the learning points and then level this up so we can get the tier 4 harvester cap and that is going to be easier for us to level up. Uh, so we are going to be using 35 learning points to get tier 4 harvester. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the episode. Now I don't have a solid plan for this episode. There are many things I can do to make some silver. I could gather for about an hour and that'll get me around 200,000. I could also try doing a little bit of city trading, but that might be a little bit too dangerous. And I also could try something like the black market. But as you guys saw in the last episode, that doesn't work as well either. So I'm going to have to think of a new method or do some research on how I can actually make silver. Because again, we need premium. Without premium, this game is kind of difficult. So we're going to try to get premium as fast as possible. And that way, we're going to get that XP boost. We're going to get that silver boost, tax boost. And then we are good to go for this account. Let's go tier 4 harvester. That's pretty good. We're going to be learning this so we can go back and get all of the harvester gear. And we're going to come back with all the harvester gear, get that harvesting um, boost, I think, for wearing all the harvesting gear. And then we're able to pretty much chop all of these tier 4. Look at this. This is literally filled with tier 4. Chop it off and then refine it. We're doing pretty well. I think my, my, yeah, my sickle is about to uh, break. It's around 50. It breaks around like 20, I think, 10%, something like that. All right. So I think I'm going to finish all of these, head back, get the tier 4 harvesting tools and the set and then come back and keep gathering a little bit more. However, before we purchase all of our materials, let's go ahead and refine everything we got. I only got 48 of tier two, because I already had a bunch of tier two, so I decided not to get you know more tier two. Um, and then let's get as much of tier three and then the most important is of course the tier four. That's where we're gonna make all our money. I think I've been doing some research. There's one thing that I haven't done in Albion Online, I pretty much think ever. And that is essence grinding. Essence grinding is where you go to a specific location and you grind these essence. If we check the location right here. Um, and there's like these essence that spawn there. These mobs that spawn there. And they drop essence. And then those essence are used to craft the enchanted potions. So a lot of people do need them to craft enchanted potions. So there is a market, you know, of it. Now... The way you do this is you go to these locations right here, the uh, magic locations, and you go kill these mobs. These mobs have a rare chance of dropping that essence, and you can sell off that essence. It is in a tier 6 red zone, but I think it can make it work. However, the problem that I'm going to have is I don't have a specific build for clearing out huge groups of mobs. You know, Basically, the build I'm doing here is a hybrid of solo PvE as well as solo PvP or a little bit of group PvP. Uh, so I don't have something like the Great Axe or an Axe build that's going to let me clear everything out fast. But I'm going to try doing my best with the Essence uh, grinding. Alright, so I put the Fine Cloth for 265 each. That's around 25,000, 26,000 silver. That actually wasn't that much silver as I expected. But we are actually Tier 4 Harvester. So we can buy all of the Tier 4 tools. And that is going to help us out a ton when we go out and gather. I think I'm gonna take a break from gathering. I might come back later and I'm gonna go do that essence grinding This might be the worst idea possible I'm taking my tier 2 donkey as well as a tier 2 secondary and a tier 2 cape out into the red zone I might get ganked and if I do I'm only gonna lose like 15,000 silver Which is gonna be hard on us, but we can make it back with our tier 4 tools when we go gather again All right, I'm here. There's no one flagged up for PvP so this should be safe unless there's somebody in here who is, you know, taking care of these mobs, which there is. Now, I could group with him 
and clear it out faster or i can just go on the other side and maybe clear out those mobs and keep doing a circle around him uh, there's also another person so it might be a bit difficult but let's give it a try okay we have completed our adventurous challenge for today so let's go ahead and collect our fame book and we are one way away to get the keeper challenge chest however do we do need a premium but we're able to unlock it as soon as we get premium which i hope it is by the end of the month so we can get that grizzly bear as well unfortunate boys we got ganked we got ganked by a group of three people and i wasn't recording so sorry about that but we did get some information i was making a solid amount of money i had made uh, I think if I count everything, I had two or three tier six. I had one tier seven, a bunch of tier four and a tier five, which was solid. I'm going to say around 40, 30 K ish silver. And it, it was pretty much 15 minutes. So it wasn't that much. We did get ganked, which is kind of sad, but we do know that in the future, once we're geared up and we're not tier four with tier two stuff, um, you know, in them, we might go back in there and start doing more of that grinding. But I think I'm gonna try another method of how to make silver and uh, let's see how how it goes this time around So what's the other money-making method that we're gonna be doing in this episode and that is enchanting So as you can see right now tier 5 great arcane staffs sell for around 20,000 now I was lucky enough to purchase this great uh, arcane staff here for 16,000 so I want to try to undercut the market by 4,000 silver and what we're gonna do is purchase the flat enchanted so the zero enchanted and we're gonna enchant it to point one so there's around a 22,000 silver difference between the flat one and the enchanted one so what we're gonna do is we are gonna buy a bunch of runes 192 runes I think so we're gonna make roughly not that much i'm gonna say 5,000 to 6,000 silver for enchanting this our great arcana now the other problem is that we do have to have someone who's willing to buy our weapon here which there is a chance um that no one will buy this weapon now it's a great arcane a lot of people are going to buy this weapon there's a lot of uh, of mages out there that do use this weapon so we're gonna go ahead sell it back into the market and you'll see that we are in a good profit so if we go ahead and sell this off real quick there we go sell it off for a sell order for um yeah around 42 i'm gonna to do one less uh that means we got a profit of 40,000. so that means we're gonna be at around 77,000, and we start around 72 so there's our 5k profit now we just have to wait for somebody to buy this we could do a sell order but um or sell it straight into a sell order but it's just not gonna make us money so we're gonna do a buy order sorry a sell order uh, and we're gonna put it right there and we're gonna wait until that gets sold so so far this episode seems like it's a bunch of failures we failed with our essence grinding we also failed with our enchanting there's actually two reasons why these methods failed for the essence grinding we were wearing very low tier items as well as we didn't have a specific build for clearing out big groups of mobs and then for the enchanting we really do need a lot of silver to get started with enchanting because you're going to make most of your money if you enchant in the tier 6, tier 7, and tier 8 tools. Um, so we didn't make money there. We kind of did a little bit. If we wait for our items to sell, we might be in profit. So, so far, right now, this episode, we've made around 40k, which is not a lot. So hopefully us here gathering for another hour or so is going to bring that number up by a whole lot. But yeah, this just goes to show that gathering really is just the best thing to do when you're starting the game you get to level up your gathering which is a very important aspect of the game you get money you get fame it's pretty much the best thing you can do as a low level i did not notice this i have 250 gold i don't know how i got this is this a new mechanic when you're done with your free three days of premium do you get 250 gold because I didn't have this the first two episodes, so it's it's kind of creeping me out. I don't know how I got 250 gold. If we check the price for 250 gold, it's it's 629,750 silver. And I don't know how I got this 250 gold. I never purchased gold in this account. I haven't done anything with this account except make videos on it. Very weird. I'm just going to keep it aside for now. But we do have a solid 600k worth in gold for this reason let me know in the comment section below if that is something you get after the free three days of premium if so then i'm, I'm gonna use it of course but if i got this for other reasons then i don't want to use it um so i'm gonna probably throw it away or give it away 
So make sure to let me know in the comment section below. That was quite some time of gathering. I think it was literally an hour and 20 minutes of gathering. We got 698 hemp. We do have tier 5. We can't refine tier 5 just yet, but we do have 44 of tier 5. We got a bunch of 4.1 and a little bit of 4.2. What we're going to do is we're going to go into Theth Fort. So we're going to refine everything and we're going to sell it off. And I think I'm going to make roughly 130, 150 around there with all the resources that I got here. I'm going to be using our focus points. We do have a little bit of focus points because we had those three days of premium. So I'm going to use all my focus points on the 4.2, which we got four of them, and then all of our 4.1. And that should help us out even make more silver. So now I'm thinking I'm getting around 200,000. Uh, but yes, we're wasting all our focus points. But once we do get premium, we do get that 10,000 focus points a day. Uh, so just letting you guys know that I'm going to be using my focus points on 4.1 and 4.2. Yeah, I definitely overestimated how much money I'm going to be making here. But I'm going to sell my rare cloth, my 4.2, for around 8,000, which is pretty good. 91 4.1 for around 42,000 and then at my 405 tier 4 for around 96,000 uh, so if we calculate everything we are going to make and actually let me calculate everything for the whole entire day so for all of our sell orders here in the theft Ford marketplace we'll be making 188,178 silver for today's episode today we started with 60k so we've made 120k again we had two things that we weren't successful so we didn't do the essence grinding as well as the enchanting because those two you need more money and more levels to do uh, but it's a good a lesson that we learned so with that being said I think that's the end of the episode. I did hear a lot of comments or read a lot of comments. You guys want longer episodes? I'll try to do longer episodes in the following episodes. It's just right now I'm kind of busy and I have a lot of things to do uh, as I just finished up midterms. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed me trying to make some silver, failing on some things, making silver in other ways. Next episode, I will definitely have a specific plan on how to make even more silver. Let's go ahead and turn that 188,000 silver upwards to uh, 500k, even a million by next episode. With that being said, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.